Hey guys, we've had a stressful day. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, not gonna lie. We've had a really stressful day. We had this whole plan, going to do fun, cool things today, and we ended up working all day, right Jimmy? We're gonna go to a night market, and we're gonna eat all the things. One, you guys haven't seen a lot of that in Thailand yet, and two, it's delicious. Look at Jimmy's cool shirt. So one thing you guys gotta know about Thailand and bigger cities in general is everywhere there's street food. Thailand's known for street food. Uh, you can get anything you want under the sun here. Uh, things I didn't know existed exist here to eat. It's pretty cool. So it might seem kind of shady to you guys if you're not used to eating uh, outside in the street stalls, but it's actually clear than you think because every day it's fresh. They tear it down, bring it all back up again. Uh, so the food's pretty good, so it's not like it's been sitting around outside all day. Uh, they come bring it fresh from coolers and it comes out and they, they sell it all and then they go back home. <laughs> I, haven't got, I haven't got sick yet since our tour here in Asia. Uh, people that running the shop, they take a lot of pride in what they do and what they eat. So it's always a nice thing because they want to keep a good impression, they get business that way. So it's always, always a pretty good deal. We made it. We are at the night market. This is very typical of any night market you're going to see in Thailand. Lots of food stalls, lots of good food, and lots of people. So you kind of walk around, check it out, and then dig in. They set them up in the evening time, so you'll always see individual food stalls just around on the street. But then a lot of the time you'll see them collected like this behind me, where there's a bunch of them together, so when this is over, it'll be completely gone. You'll never know it was ever here. So, it's kind of awesome. So we're gonna go get some food, let's do it. Do you guys remember Madame Wee from Vietnam? This behind me is roti. This is the Thailand version of the same kind of banana pancakes. So they have lots of flavors and it's amazing. Lots of butter. So what's going on behind me is actually really cool. So they have a basket and they pick all of the skewers that they want to have done. They put it in their basket and they give it to her and they grill it up and hand it back. So it's like you literally get to pick your food. Super cool. Known for northern Thailand is known for rather or Chiang Mai specifically is their a northern Thai sausage and so we've had it, it's pretty good uh, a little earthy tasting but they have some here to sample they have different, different spice levels all right you guys if anybody out there loves the pork belly check out the Thai crispy version Silverware when you come to a street market. Yeah, they do it. They give you skewers. Yeah? They get it's a little and kick to it. Does it? And they just said a little um, spicy. It's good, it like sausage, but it has a really big lemongrass taste to it. It's lemon really? Grass. Yeah. I decided that I didn't eat all the fat in the crispy pork. So we got a grilled pork. It's like the world's best sucker. Oh my God. Mm. It's not fatty, super tender and sweet, and oh my gosh, so much flavor. Um, Don't you eat all that. All this costs 35 baht. So this is 15 baht, the, the pork, marinated pork. And sausage was 20 baht. I'm going in for the quail. Cat tied. 
had it before, it's really good. We're doing this one. Doctor it up when you're done. So you have uh, it's a chili, chili, a fish sauce, and then chili and fish sauce. Okay. Which is and amazing. Then chili powder. Chili powder. And then peanut. And sugar, right? Sugar, uh, sugar already. Oh, okay. Sugar already. So, so peanuts and spicy. Peanut, peanut, peanut. Peanut. Yeah. Definitely peanuts. Peanut, peanut. spicy. A little, so a little bit. There you go. And, and then. Oh lime. yeah. Lime. Oh and lime. Lime. So there's a way to do it right. Thank really, really you. <laughs> Here in Thailand, one thing you need when you're at a street market, beer. Can't live without beer. Uh, it's about, it's actually, you get a big one at the same price as this one. It's a 60 baht. This is 10 baht for a bottle of water. Pretty standard price. All pretty good. It's awesome. I'm trying to figure out if I should take off my jewelry to get dirty. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this little me. It's 100 baht for three. Before and it was gamey. Oh, really good. A little sweet. This is spicy sauce. What's the sauce taste like? Kind of like chili. I think it's fish sauce and chili and like onion and garlic all mixed together. So it's got a good bite to it, but it's really savory. It's delicious. There's not a lot of meat on the legs though. See, look. You don't get a lot. Isn't that a weird when you ask for quail and she puts three of them on their hole and then packs them up? Chicken pad thai. Let me throw up here. Go ahead and sit for a minute because so eat, eat some quail with Amanda. But I'm not the only one who eats the weird food. Put chicken in there, maybe a big piece. One thing to note is the very suggested sauces to use, like toppings like the peanuts and the chili sauce and the lime and stuff. I always do it because that's it's there for a reason. Then that reason just makes it taste a lot better, right? So good. We're going for one of my favorites. If you're in Thailand and you don't do this, you did it wrong. Sticky rice with coconut milk all over the top of it. It is the best thing you will ever eat in your entire life. <laughs> the rice is sweet. It's almost like the world's best rice pudding without all the milk. It's so good. It's fresh, delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're stuffed. Now we had a full Thai street food meal. Uh, we had mango sticky rice here, man, is finishing. We're gonna head down to the Chiang Mai night market. It's the, like, the biggest market, night market in Chiang Mai by far. Behind us is where we have the street food. If you can see that in the background, all the lights. Then Caddy Corner to that, or Caddy Wampus, or however you want to say it, is the start of the, wait, that worked before? It's a Midwest thing. It's the start of the night market. So we're gonna head down this way, and there's a whole section where you get lost in. And they sell Beware, you want all the things. All kinds of cool stuff. Not only with, like knockoff stuff, like North Face and all that, you know, Louis Vuitton purses, but also uh, traditional Thai like crafts and stuff, like real Thai real crafts. Not that cheap Chinese crafts. Well, it's cheap Chinese craft there too, but they also have people like ma vendors making stuff on the street, which is pretty neat. I need 
Jesus. Isn't that me? <laughs> Would you actually wear them? I don't know. I'd probably not. But it's really kind of cool to have. Street market here. Lady's doing uh, manicure gel nail in the whole bit for 200 baht. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, one more than we've paid in Vietnam and other places, but we're, we're actually early. We're, we're going to do it early, uh, later tonight. So good opportunity to get nails done. Support small business. So I'm going to do something different. I have seen on Instagram and Facebook for everybody doing the chrome fingernails. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Isn't that cool? Get your nails done in the market. we buy something for the wall and I love this for the wall although it's very Amanda so we'll end up with a Jimmy and an Amanda just like me got it I'm so excited I've been <laughs> eyeing them since we got to Thailand I wanted one so bad oh, no. more stuff <laughs> <laughs> no, good, good salesman good salesman right here good salesman that's too heavy thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> 300 baht We'll convert it down below. We could have went, we could have went a little harder, but we could have went a little he's, lower. Not, he's a nice guy. But he's a nice guy, and I was feeling kind of bad. And that's the thing. I'm too emotional for this haggling business. But I love this one, so I'm so excited. I got my Buddha. I, like, I dig this though. Look at that. I like that. All right, we're about to go to a show. We're not gonna film because. I don't know how it would be received, but it's something I really wanted to do that I think would be really fun. It's the infamous Lady Boy Drag Show. <laughs> it's 350 baht. It's 350 baht, but it includes a free drink. It comes with a free drink. Yeah. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Are you doing this? I have to do this. You're doing this. I have to do this. This is a really cool market. This is actually our favorite night market we've seen in Chiang Mai so far. But directly behind me, they have lots of little like setups and shops where I got my nails done. They have all of that. But then out on the streets, they have lots of stalls too. So they have lots of people, lots of shopping. It's really fun. Plus, there's tons of restaurants and food places and the awesome drag shows back here too. So there's lots of entertainment here. So all you really need to do is just get to the general area and then just enjoy it and walk around. You can eat dinner, you can shop. It's awesome. And they haggle. Don't take the first price. 